everyone and welcome to Pal to Tech. This is a new type of video format for the channel, the occasional quick review. I'll see if I can get this done in five minutes. Today we are looking at two products from Resabi or Resabi, this company right here. Whoa, hold on. I just realized something while I was editing this video, I was sent this product to review and test. They did not pay me for my review. They did not sponsor this video. They did not get any input into its you know, creation and they've not seen it until right now just when you are. Okay, back to the review. I normally use this. I have one here and I've got one over here and I have a whole bunch in my closet here and I am constantly using them. These work great, but the problem is that you have to throw them away and that one time cost can add up. This cordless air duster has a rechargeable 7,500 milliamp battery, comes with a USB-C charging cord, two attachments, and it even has a light on the front to see those darker areas where you may need to find dust. Now the nozzle attachments can flip down so the whole unit can be more easily stored. It has a switch to change the speeds from low to medium to high. I'm gonna demo this right now, so if you are wearing headphones while you're watching this, this thing is kinda loud, you might wanna turn the volume down a little bit. And I'll make it run at the highest speed. That's pretty fast, can you feel that? <laughs> Woo! I have to say, this is a lot more powerful than I thought it would be. Now, it is not quite as powerful as where you have a narrowly compressed, you know, stream of air from one of these. However, for the fact that you can recharge this and you don't have to throw this away, I would say that this would probably get you 90% of the way there. So you could basically have one of these cans laying around, right, for those really hard to get areas, but you would use this most of the time on bookshelves, keyboards, counters, and your studio or wherever you find dust. It takes about an hour and a half to charge the unit and once it's charged, it will work for 20 minutes on the highest setting and 35 minutes on the lowest blow setting. There is one thing to know, it is loud. And I mean loud as in a jet has arrived inside your home. Okay, the next item, camera and lens cleaner. Inside the box, you get, well, a pretty bag. <laughs> Another lens cleaning cloth, which actually I can use those. A USB-C charging cord, the instructions, a little brush attachment, and the unit itself. The included filter, you see that? This is a filter. The filter goes right in here and it comes with one already installed and they give you two extra. I don't know how long the filters last, it doesn't say, but you know, you got three of them. There's two buttons on it, power on and off and an LED light. The brush screws on the front just like this. This is 60 watts and it takes about an hour and a half to charge it. There are two speeds, high and low. On the high gear, you get about 12 minutes of continual use on a battery charge. On the low, you get about 32 minutes. And obviously you charge the 800 milliamp battery with this USB-C cord. What's interesting about this device is that it has sort of a matte paint finish, which prevents dust from really falling on it. It sort of stays dust free while it's performing the dust cleaning. Let's use it on an XT three. Yeah, it did a pretty good job. Check it out. Let's try it on a lens. Not bad. It took every single bit of dust off this lens. First off, never, and I mean never, I am just saying this right now, should you open up your camera and use this or anything else that blasts air on your sensor. I have a whole video on how to clean your sensor because that is a topic in and of itself. Go check out that video if you wanna learn more about that. But everything else in and around the camera, especially all the dust that gets inside here, this thing worked wonderfully. And this would be a great addition to your camera bag where you can go through a few lenses, your cameras, get them all nice and clean, dust free, and that will help reduce dust from dropping in here, right? Because if you've got dust all over the camera and you're opening this up, that dust could fall into the sensor. So overall, it's a good part of camera maintenance. And one thing I noticed with this, I never had to have it on the highest setting. Just the lowest setting with the brush worked really well. Obviously, these are two very different things. This is for more general household use, and this is for what you want if you're gonna be around your cameras and your lenses and your gear. That's because it has these filters right here. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for joining me and I'll catch you in the next one.